What's up guys, Josh here with some bass in your face. Um, I'm just stoked to do bass lesson videos these days. I've got so many ideas, I just want to put them out at least every week. And I'm finally done traveling and moving around and stuff. I'm in Phoenix now in my new office, which you can see is not entirely decorated. However, I did try to please your visual palette by uh, some offerings over in this corner. We have a, a map of Middle Earth. Uh, soon to be joined by my uh, Lord of the Rings Collector's Edition box set. We've got uh, the Essential Jock of Pastorius, one of my favorite transcription books. We've got uh, some Bach for your viewing pleasure and uh, Infowars.com. So, I hope that will uh, amuse your eyeballs until uh, I have a desk and stuff. But I just couldn't wait to make a bass lesson until then. So here we are. Slap bass. Thumb, hammer, pluck what we're going to work with today. Thumb hammer pluck, I cannot express what a useful pattern it is. Victor Wooten, probably 25% of everything he's ever played is thumb hammer pluck. That's an exaggeration, but he uses it a lot and it sounds awesome and uh, other people use it, but I, I think he sort of started it. He started it! So um, I wrote us an exercise to work on that's all thumb hammer pluck. There are no uh, variations, which is the way I sort of like to write these exercises, just to keep it simple so you're working on one thing at a time and then you can mix them and match them later on on your own. So it's an E minor and uh, there are three variations, beginning, intermediate, and crazy. Uh, so if the intermediate or the crazy ones sound too hard for you, just stick with variation number one. I'm going to go through all three, we'll have play-alongs, and we've got a drum machine today. How do you like that? So I'll demo all three variations for you now. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. for each variation on its own. Um, and then you can kind of put it together however you want uh, with your own drum machine or metronome, which of course you practice with all the time, don't you? Uh, so variation one is of course the simplest, and uh, we are gonna thumb on the open A, hammer on an E on the A string, and pluck an E, and that's gonna be our first half bar. And also, just a quick note, since things have changed, normally you see the tablature in front of my face, but because today it's a lot more complicated, I thought it would be better to make a PDF that you can download for free, um, because I just couldn't fit enough information on the screen. So, there's a link in the video description, click it, you will be directed to my website, and there will be a link there to download the PDF. Totally free, you don't have to be on my mailing list, you don't have to join a membership site, I don't care, just download it and enjoy it. It's totally free. Uh, and it'll only take a second. So do that, and then you'll have uh, all the tablature and sheet music to follow along. The other cool thing is that then you have the sheet music with really accurate rhythmic notation, not just tablature, uh, and you can kind of get used to seeing it that way, which is how most transcription books are written, and I think it's really bitchin'. So get that, and uh, then follow along. So variation one. Repeating the same three note pattern three times. Open A with the thumb, hammer on an E, pluck an E, three, four. Then we move the bottom note that we're hammering up to a G, then up to an A, then uh, thumb and open D, hammer a C, pluck an E. Sounds like I'm playing a really um, 
simple sort of rhythmic bass line, uh, the notes that are emphasized are actually on the second beat of the pattern. The first beat of the pattern is an open A string, which when you play it at tempo, you don't really notice it that much. So it's sort of a, like a sleight of hand trick, like uh, on the actual downbeats, you're hitting this open string that's sort of harmonically irrelevant. But then you're smacking the hammer on in a way that sort of tricks people's ears to think, no, this is the downbeat. Remember, that's it happened on the downbeat, man. Just don't worry about it. Um, so it's sort of sneaky that way. So when I play it uh, with drums, it almost sounds like I'm going... cool. It's, it's neat to uh, notice how your ear will correct pitch and rhythmic inconsistencies in order to make things sound better. Um, so that's just a neat thing to notice. So let's go ahead and play along uh, with each other, you and me, just you and me, uh, with the first variation only. And I'm going to go ahead and slow us down here on my uh, slightly ghetto drum machine setup. Um, and this is sort of a funky, like, 12-8-6-4 Afro-Cuban-y feel, so just don't be fooled by it. I'll count us in. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it'll sound like that. Tip a little slow. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's hard to discern rhythmic values exactly when there's so much like two against three happening and to decide where the pulse is. So I hope that you'll just work with me and just if the numbers and stuff don't make sense, just follow your ear. Um, I think it's a pretty logical sounding pattern. So if you don't understand the exact rhythmic theory of it, don't worry about it. So here we are up to tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just program it to like a 6-8 feel if you're using a drum machine and that should work fine even though the music is written in 12-8. I just did that to try to make it make more visual sense. Okay, so that's variation one. That's the most simple one and you can make up your own stuff with that just by sort of picking a, a pedal note. You can walk up the scale. So now variation two is more of a six beat pattern, even though it's just thumb, hammer, pluck, thumb, hammer, pluck, uh, it doesn't really repeat itself until after you get through one, two, three, four, five, six hits, uh, because it sounds like this. So instead of going A string, A string, G string, A string, A string, G string, we're going A string, A string, G string, D string, D string, G string. So it 
creates the six note pattern, even though it's just thumb hammer pluck, thumb hammer pluck. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so let me just play that for you slow one more time so you can hear it. And again, some of these open strings sound a little weird when you play it slow, but when it speeds up, they sort of naturally recede into the background. And you can emphasize that by uh, changing how hard you do certain parts of the pattern, but that's a little bit more advanced. So here's what it sounds like really slow, and then we'll do a play along at a slow-ish tempo. you to work it with the metronome on your own and then because I can't if we did a play along for every speed you'll need to use while you learn it then these videos would be 30 minutes long and who wants to do that so uh, let's speed it up a little bit and do one more of those one two three four five six to the, uh, to the next speed. Or, you know, just watch it and look at the Lord of the Rings poster and just enjoy that, whatever you want to do. So now the third variation is crazy fast. Um, if this is too hard for you, please don't feel inadequate. It's not, you're not a bad person if you can't <laughs> play it this fast. And I'm not trying to like stroke my own ego by putting a fast thing in here. I just want to show you one of the neat things you can do to uh, use this pattern to make stuff that sounds really cool and complicated, but it's actually not that complicated. Um, but I really like doing this kind of stuff and I want to share it with you and help to break it down. So here's what it sounds like uh, at tempo, the third variation. One, two, three, four, five, six. one obviously you'll need to work it by yourself um, sort of without a metronome and just go in slow-mo until you can do it uh, consecutively and then you can use this play along portion so here we go four five six one two three four five six slower tempo that each beat is getting a triplet now instead of it's and other exciting noises that come out of my mouth. So now we'll do that at our medium tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. full speed. You can do it! One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so that's all 
three variations, you are ready to rock. So what I encourage you to do uh, once you get, you know, whether it's just the first one or the first two or all three up to speed, uh, get it happening with the drum machine because it's more fun. And just practice switching in between and you can make a little song out of it. All right, so that's the exercise. You've got the PDF. Um, please let me know what you guys think of this new system of having an easy to download PDF versus the tablature over my face. I think it's going to be better in general because a lot of the things I want to teach, including like full songs and stuff, it's I'm not going to be able to put it all on the screen. It's just going to be silly. So, um, and I happen to be pretty good at throwing sheet music together and making it look nice. Um, and obviously you don't need to read sheet music because there's tablature underneath the sheet music staff. So I hope you guys dig that. Let me know. Um, and hopefully we don't overload the server on my website. I've never really tried this before, so we're all trying it together. I'm really excited to keep coming out with lessons every week. Please subscribe, share it with all your base buddies, and um, I've got some uh, very exciting announcements coming in the next week or so, so please stay tuned, rock on, and keep playing bass.